fucked it up. <laughs> just like a, just got a regular YouTube channel. It's our turn to choose. <laughs> what? What? We have another coin mission. Oh my god. Do you want to start? No. Welcome back. Yeah. Welcome, and... welcome, welcome. Right, I say now. Welcome back to Head. What? Oh, yeah, because the so coin flips. Okay, cool. I got so it. I got it. I got it. So we had a coin flip mission. Oh, this one's really cool. I like this one. Oh, we're in a desert. Finally, not ice. Or water. Uh, no, I didn't mind the water. The water was cool. This one's cool. I like this one a lot. Total victory. Okay, what does he mean by that? I said we won the war. Like the unsung war? That's not really happening? What does unsung mean? Well, unsung means that you don't, like, people don't talk about it. Oh. Like, it's not, you know? It's not It's not sung, meaning people don't. You know, they don't talk about it, they don't sing praises for it, they don't. It's, so it's not talked about. The sequel to this is called The uh, Pokemon on Moon War. Hmm? A reference to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Hmm. That, that only we're gonna get, because we're the only ones that are gonna get the game. That, yeah, we're the only ones. Oh, I just skipped the cutscene. Whatever. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, yeah, we're the only ones to get play Pokemon when it comes out. Yeah. I'm gonna buy all 200 million copies. All by myself. And then you're just gonna hold them hostage for the world. Yeah. You're gonna be like the world's greatest villain, where it's like, so he holds the world hostage, but really, Ooh. oh shit, what's that? That looks cool. Nighthawk. Oh, Nighthawk. That's awesome. I'm, I'm getting that. Yeah, it's a new shit. It did looks awesome. I want this one. It's an attacker. Oh. Yeah, instead of holding the world hostage, you're gonna hold the world's Pokemon fans hostage and they can't get the game. That's, my, that's a dream. It's a dream come true for me. Yeah. Then I'm gonna, I can only, only people who know about competitive Pokemon are allowed to get it. <laughs> <laughs> so only like 10. People. Yeah. Come back, Pokemon stuff. Yeah, I mean, I remember when you started getting into it a couple years ago, and you just explaining to me the amount of things you have to, like, not know, like, beforehand in a fight, but, like, the kind of stuff you have to think about in between a fight. I was just like, that's already more information than I know on any given topic. You just need to know about the tiers, and you need to tell about the, 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 the types. Yeah. No. Uh, I might need to get rid of mine. Yeah, like, I didn't need, I need to know about the tears. I need to know about um, a whole bunch of shit that, that will never be useful in life. Nah, it would be pretty useful. Even then, like, even pros don't even get that much money. Like, I think for world championships, the, the, the finalists got like $5,000. Hey, that's a lot of money. That's not that much compared to like all the I mean, sports. when you start comparing it to other shit, like um, like league and, and Dota, Dota and shit like that. It's nothing. However, you're still getting five thousand bucks for video games. So. True, but right. it's more. It's a lot of work put into it. Yeah, but it's mostly just like applying knowledge. Yeah, but, uh, and strategy and shit like that. You know, it's a desert or a fucking map. Where are those dots? It's a desert. It's uh, where dots, else? Though. What? What? We did a bomb run. What the fuck? Ooh. Ooh, this, this shit. I didn't get the, the other one because it wasn't recommended, but it seems nice. I like it. It feels, it feels smoother than other ones. I know how that feels. Hey. Not really. <laughs> I'm, I'm not, I've never been a weird. No, I was looking at the dots on the ground. I'm like, what the fuck is Oh, like the Nazca line things? Well, those weren't really Nazca lines because they, they look like patches of grass. No. Ooh, yeah, Ooh, we are. They know. Where it's spreading. Aw, oh, just the fact they know they know what we did, they're just happy. Yeah. That's why we're here. We are the escorts. It's like we only sent you guys. <laughs> right. It's like we only took down two submarines. Just, you know. Too ridiculously expensive. Oh shit! Two shots. Yeah, like I hit him with two two piece combo. 
that's that's the Miguel scene that you that you said right now. Two piece. Oh, yeah. that's right. I remember. Miguel that. always defers to his punches as combos that like you order at McDonald's. But you can't get. What, what do you get for two pieces? Well, I, said, I just said McDonald's is the first thing I thought of. I'm like, you can't because get I got like a number two in like. McDonald's is a quarter pounder. Yeah, I'm like, what do you mean? And just for anyone says, I don't have McDonald's often, I just know it's number two for, for a quarter pounder. I mean, I feel like you can have, you know, knowledge of menus without having to be thought of as like, oh, you go there every day, too. Like, you, can, you can know things. Yeah. Like, I could probably guess, like, because, because I like Wendy's better than Burger King, but I could probably guess that the Whopper's probably number one in Burger King. Well, yeah, because that's the you know, main thing to so. It's just knowledge, you know? You remember that old ad, or like the old advertisement for Burger King, where like, they, apparently they told Burger King that they weren't selling Whoppers? Oh my god, I remember that. I actually saw that, it came up on Reddit a while ago, I remember that, that was a thing. It came up. And I, and yeah, people were like, really, I, I, really mad about that. I think that. it was staged though. Um, maybe, probably, you know. Because I feel like, like Burger King had this phase with their ads, where they got like really edgy, and like they started doing like weird shit. Fucking look at all the king stuff. Yeah, the king stuff was like all it was really like renegade, you know, trying to do like shit that that incites people or whatever. And then I feel like the the, the fucking the, taking out the, the whopper was, was probably one of those. That's so weird. Burger King, we love you though. Yeah, yeah. you guys are the best fries Ch- in the game. Chicken fries too. Yep. That, that was the smartest thing they ever done. Bring back those chicken fries. Yeah, you know, honestly, I gotta tell you, I remember when they came back. We said, "Chicken fries are back. We gotta go get them now." Uh! And we had them, and and they're really good. But I, I honestly didn't remember them I for remember. them to be back. Like for me, I was like, "Oh, cool, chicken fries are a thing." And you're like, "No, man, they're not just they a were thing. not just a thing. They were a they home. were the thing. They were a homecoming for me." Because you had them during homecoming or what? I never did homecoming, so I was like, <laughs> instead of going to homecoming, I just had chicken fries. <laughs> just went and get home. Chicken fries instead. Yeah, man. I also remember eating popcorn chicken from KFC. Now I won't even bother ordering that because I don't like eating KFC, but hey. You know, I remember like when I was a kid, like we would get like a, a KFC, not often, but like when it was a thing and we wanted to cook on a Sunday. We get KFC, and I wasn't crazy about it because, like, I had this whole thing. Like when I was like smaller, I was like, oh, I just don't want to get like my fingers and just like go through the chicken and shit. Yeah, and I would like just beg and pray, like, give me the popcorn chicken. It's it's a thing now. We should get it. Now uh, you know, being an annoying piece of shit. And, and then we got it once, and it's just like these, these little tiny things. That's like, is that gonna be for all of us? And I was like, I didn't think this through. Whoa, oh, this is awesome! Doing? That was cool. We were 500 feet above him. Wait, is it feet? Yeah. I imagine. But I was using like a special weapon I had. Oh. It's a cool bomber. But anyway, yeah. They're cool. Now they have, you know, just chicken, uh, popcorn chicken all the time. Have you ever had the grilled chicken from KFC? Uh, no. Was it good? Don't plan on having it, so I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you remember the double down? Oh. Did you know You know what's the funny origin of that? There's an origin? I thought somebody just, you know You know what, what that, that, that The double down originally came from? No Dirty Rock Did it? Is it a joke? Dirty Rock? It's, a dirt, it's a joke that uh, Trace Morgan did in Dirty Rock Where pretty much she just like advertised Like a, a sandwich where instead of the, A buns, it's um Chicken for fried chicken as a patty. Oh wow! And it was just a joke at Dirty Rock, but then KFC saw it and like, you know what? I want that. It's a little they just ended up making that. You know, I'm not surprised that it's a Dirty Rock joke. I didn't think it would get picked up like that though. You know, it's funny. I actually don't like Dirty Rock that much. No, I thought. Or, no, I, I remember I, you watched it. I watched the first season. It wasn't bad. I I, I do see the deal of it, but there's some things I don't like about it. For example, I don't like at uh, Glowin that much. Oh no? No, he doesn't do it for me. I think it's funny, yeah. For me, he doesn't do it for me. I just yeah. um, like him. I don't like that much. Tracy Morgan didn't actually like. Yeah. And I do like Tina Fey, but like um, like her friend in the in the show. Fuck, I can't stand her. 
Oh, the, the blonde one? Yeah. Yeah. And she's in Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, I can't stand her either. Yeah. I love her too. I'm not a fan of hers. Like, uh, yeah, I remember I tried watching when I got Netflix. I tried to get into all the shows that I'd been missing out on. 30 Rock was one of them. And I started watching it, and the first episodes were pretty funny. I got the. I got the gist of it, and I could see like why it became such a thing. No, I definitely very, see it. Yeah, it was a very unconventional show for all the things that it was doing. It was very cool, but um, I didn't fall through with it all that much, so I guess that goes to say something. My favorite character in the entire show, I think it's easy to call, is... Uh, can you think it's Kenny? The or, page? Yeah. All the time for a show in, in Dirty Rock. Yeah, he was, he was a great character. You know, it, it's funny because, like, He's one of those characters where it's like you don't know when he ends and the, the real guy begins, you know? One of those mm-hmm. things? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a fucking bad person. Something cool about this mission is just like the fact that after going to like t- a couple of hard missions, everything just gets easier. It just goes like, yeah, you're a fucking boss. You're a fucking demons ro- Rosberries. Yeah. We're demons! Oh, wow. Smart people just around the here. Um, well, yeah, there's other comedies that I fucking love with passion. Like, I love Parks and Rec. I love The Office. Yeah, so we finished Parks and Rec after they uploaded the, the last season. Oh, God. I mean, last season isn't perfect, but it's still enjoyable. That's a good sign up. Yeah, that's a good. Oh, it's, the ending is fucking great. Yeah. Although I thought the last one was a, a good sign up. No, it was too, but the ending for Parks and Rec is fucking beautiful. The only ending that that will say is better is um, the office ending. Yeah. Have you ever seen the office ending? It's funny. So I remember when the office was ending. It was a whole thing on NBC, and I hadn't been watching the last season or two. Yeah, have I? But, but I remember I'd been like backtracking the whole series through like TBS because they reran the shit out of it. So I was That's watching. What TBS usually does. Yeah. So I was watching it, and I'd seen most of the episodes up until like the last few seasons when Jim gets like. Like his own company and all that other shit. Yeah. And that's sort of when I lost, when I, when I fell out of it. And then I heard it was, like, ending, and I was like, oh, fuck, I should probably, like, start watching it. And then I just didn't get around to it, but I, I saw the last episode, and I kind of got some context of what had happened in, in the seasons between. Yeah, the last episode was perfect in that way, where, like, even if you didn't watch the last season, you could just, like, barely catch up some stuff real quick, and then that's yeah. how you can watch the last episode. Yeah, like, I didn't know Michael had left, but then, like, through watching the episode, it's like, oh, yeah, Michael had left a while ago. Yeah. But he came back for this, and, you know, that's really cool. It's essentially one of the most satisfying things I've seen for sure. Yeah, it was really Especially, nice. like, a year after, like, did you ever watch How I Met, How I Met Your Mother? Um, this is another one of those shows I've seen through reruns. I've seen part of a good chunk of the seasons, and I've seen, like, and I know what happened to the story... You know, like, he thinks it's her, but it's not her, but it's her roommate, and then it's not her roommate, yeah. and then she drops the umbrella. Like, it's a, it's a very contrived show. Like, it just happened, but they spread it out too thin, though, I feel like it's what happened. Yeah, How I Met Your Mother isn't as consistently good as out in the office, but the ending for How I Met Your Mother is pretty bad. Yeah? Yeah, it's nowhere near as good as the office's ending. It's not satisfying at all. It's one of those shows that I didn't know how long it ran for, too. Mm. Like, I remember I was watching one of, like, the first episodes in the first season, and I was like, holy shit, this is a really old show. Mm-hmm. It's like, like 2005, I think? Yeah. It was, like, ridiculously old, and, like, it, the episodes have been running for so long. What the fuck are they saying cooking for? <laughs> what the fuck? That's the way. That's what I'm saying like, in my fucking head center. Like, what the fuck is he saying? It's like, dude, he's really creeping me out. He, maybe he is a demon. He is a demon. <laughs> or he, like, he does like the machine gun voice over his own mouth. He's like, he's <laughs> like, do this stop? Yeah, they're like, dude, you're like blowing up my comms. Don't do that. You're what? Because of the communication, because oh. they're like all on the same line. I thought you said commas, I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude. You know what sucks? I almost crashed a couple times today. I'm like, man! Yes, you have, and I'm fucking clutching the bed right now. I don't need this. Like a parent fucking. Also, I'm almost on missiles. Oh shit, you are. How'd you use them all? Oh, it's a long mission. It's a long mission. 
I just have to use the Rocky Zabama. Oh, never mind, that's nowhere near as good. Not great. Yeah, Miles Animal. It's not gonna do. I mean, there's something that much on this side. Alright, let me go on the other side now. This one's time to chill. What's the show that you've been meaning to, to watch? Brooklyn 99. Oh, yeah. Dude, I've been wanting to watch that show so badly. Man, I gotta tell you, I remember, again, when that show was announced, it's like, all right, Andy Samberg, you did pretty good in SNL. Could you really hold up a show? Because, I mean, the show's really hard to hold up for a while. And then nobody really talked about it for, like, the first season and a half, maybe? First season. Right. And then, so at some point, like, throughout, like, the second or third, like, he started getting, like, awards for it, and people were like, no, it's a really good fucking show. Yeah, I've been dying a and the cat And it's really, like, the cast I mean, it's Terry Crews. That's yeah. all you need. That's all you need to know. Yeah. But like everyone says, like the, all the characters are good. Um, no show that means to, like continue watching is the Boss Burgers. Yeah, that's it's actually a show that I started watching when my sister um, really got into Netflix, and I was like watching like in between in passing, and like that's one of the shows like I, I saw the first episode. And I didn't really get it because it was like an Adult Swim, and I was like, "All right, I'll see a clip." Oh, yeah, it wasn't Adult Swim. It, it so is, and and I was watching. And I was like, mm, "I don't see it." So then, like in passing, I started watching more and more episodes, and I started getting it, and uh, I understood the characters, and they're all really funny, and um, the, the voice is just great. Yeah, um, Johnny's major Benjamin. I also forgot he did a voice of the dad in um, or like the older dude in um, that's an Adult Swim show. Which one? He's doing a lot of things. It was like badly animated. There's <laughs> a lot, a lot of those. All right. So he, he was like he was like a guy in a red shirt. Red shirt. You don't remember time frame for the show? Oh, uh, like early two thousands. Red shirt. Badly animated. Badly animated. Not C Lab. No, definitely not C Lab. Older than that. Right, it came out the same time as uh, Hobby Birdman. Oh, okay. Well, at the same time, it would have been uh, not Drax, not Octi, not Drax. Drax, like the the red dude. Oh, I like the get the red face guy. Oh, okay. they look like kind of alienish. Oh. Um, dude, this is bothering me a lot. I can't remember the name of the show. I'll have to, I'm gonna have to IMDb it in a minute. It's uh... Johnny's Benjamin, like the dude. It has a kid who's pretty fucking ugly. Um, he's really ugly. He's really fucking ugly. He, they purposely made him, animated him as, as a fucking ugly kid. <laughs> it's, he started really passionate about this ugly kid. Um, Is that Home Movies? Yes! That's Home Movies. That's the one. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay, cool. Yes, he is in Home Movies. I remember that. Yes, he was the, the papa. He was uh, also, he also did not, not another team movie. Is he? Yes. I, I don't remember that movie. Yeah, he was like the coach... What? Hey, what? Oh, I have no more missiles. Oh, that we're really done. What are you gonna do? I uh, fucking have to fucking use my thing. My your what? My machine gun. You have one? Like, like it's like an auto attack. Like, oh, okay. I just press X for it. Oh, okay. Like I barely have my special weapon. Yeah, you have like eight or zero. I have eight. Oh, okay. I have zero missiles because I thought I had no. I deal with no more stuff. So I picked mission. the fucking Ron ship. Yeah, that was a long mission. Yeah. I do it. But yeah, whole movies, that's the one of those Home movies. It was the animated. Yeah. It was, it was that's another one of the shows that I I saw when I started getting into Adult Swim. I just saw it in passing and I was like, this is a weird show. I, I don't know if I get it. But it's very like, you know, just situational and just builds on the characters. A weird show in Adult Swim, I've never heard about that. Hmm? I'm the angel. No, I I get it. Trying to catch any bullshit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> there's five. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna make it out of this one? I'm the demon of the Rosbys, dude. Oh, I must crash to it. <laughs> <laughs> you should watch out, demon. This shit's dangerous, man. I'm the demon Salazar. Not all. Oh my god. Yeah. So yeah. Um. I'm trying to think of any other voices for John H. Benjamin. So obviously, like, I mean, Archer, Archer, Bob. Uh, but yeah, he was in another team movie. He was um. He's a coach. 
he, yeah, he was, he tried to, he told, the uh, he told a dude, like, main coach to stop this guy from playing, because he had too many concussions in one game. Mm-hmm. So he, and then the coach just keeps on spinning on him, or, like, spinning on the ground, and then he joins too. So, for anyone who's ever seen that on a team movie, that's Johnny H. Benjamin, a.k.a. Bob. Mm-hmm. But back to Bob's Burgers. One, one thing is, one thing I never realized of why uh, Bob's Burgers is a really good show, and then when I watch it, I realize a lot, I like it a lot, is um, the fact that the family actually like generally loves each other. Yeah, there's a, like, as I said, I didn't get it on the first episode, but as I kept watching it, you could really see, like, the characters develop relationships and, like, how, like, the siblings work together regardless of how sort of different they all are to each other in, in terms of interest, at least. Yeah. So... It makes sense in the long run. What? I mean, you are in trouble because you have nothing to shoot with. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, Shit. They got you good. Yeah, I'm They got you real good. (laughs) You're from 8 to 84. 7 to 84. Oh my god, there's so much. There's so much. No! That was close! (laughs) <laughs> oh, it's right there! <laughs> you need to stop. You need to look at where you fucking are, man. You are all over the place. War. <laughs> Ross gets at 10 o'clock. All right. Oh, gee. Right under All right, all right. Let's get organized. All right. Please. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm barely a fucking functional plane, so... <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're only a little bit higher than it. Uh, oh! Shit, did you get it with just the... No, but like, I get all these missiles right behind me. I'm fucking sweating. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we did... Talk. Oh my god! <laughs> you're like a little bit over, like, a commercial plane with a guy with a handgun right now. <laughs> At this point, you just might as well attach a hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make it, though. Dude, I don't see a You're on your own? Man, these guys are savage. <laughs> Since the last, like, 13 missions we've been on. Oh, let's go! Yes! It's still a submission! <laughs> God, I'm fucking sweating my ass out! Oh! <laughs> Can't confirm I'm next to him. God! <laughs> this is so close. Yeah. Imagine how easy this would be if I had missiles. <laughs> I'm assuming the mission would have ended about like five minutes ago. Yeah. God, I can't find the last one. Alright, great. Oh. Maybe you're up or. Alright, there you go. Alright, let's slow down. Oh shit, it's fine, actually. Alright, let's go. I got this. Alright, let's go. Oh god, wait, every single time it turns red, I just fucking freak out. Alright, there it is. I need. Uh, this is even the, the this later missions scans are just later missions are just fucking hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man, really. What's, yeah, what's not new though? Really. Don't let up just because we have an the oh wow. There you go. Oh, my team. My team. Coming oh, my. through. Oh, God. Coming through with the clutch. God. That was so stressful. <laughs> oh, God. Real, real quick, let me bring you back. Um, do you remember, because you're, you're talking about um, him being a coach. Remember when we saw the movie, The Comebacks? That's the the parody movie with sports teams. Sports. Yes. That wasn't that bad. Well, again, have you seen it recently? No. Me either. I'm just dreading like how bad it's going to be. Get to land? Yes. Oh, my God. This is a true mission. <laughs> This is the actual hard part. Wait, well, you've done this before in an episode. I've done it before. Yeah. So it's fine. So, like, I just Why this. the fuck would you do that? I swear, like, half of the show is me feeling like a parent trying to teach the kid how to drive. And he's just like, yeah, I got it. All right. He's like, I'm going to drive stick. And he just puts both feet on the fucking thing. Yeah. When he's not driving stick. Here, uh, here's something I would not recommend doing, but I was curious to try. Like, I did this, like, in, like, if anyone ever tries this, God forbid, do it in, like, in a non-populated area. So, I remember in Breaking Bad, um, how Walter's, Walter Jr. drives. Well, well yeah, because he has, you know, CP. Yeah, but, like, 
he has he uses like one foot for like the the gas yeah, pedal and one for foot of brake. Yeah, right. I tried doing that and I tried to make sure it wasn't a populated area or like and there was no no kids or anything in my neighborhood. Yeah. Try doing that, holy shit, that's super hard to do. It's very hard to do. It's it's very much against how people are taught to drive. That's why it doesn't work. Yeah, but like oh, uh, it's so weird. It's, like, I, I try to be as safe a spot as possible, and I still felt like I was going to make a mistake. Yeah, you could. I mean, it's it's a weird thing. It's like, because of how we train ourselves, we're just so not used to using the other foot to make, like, that rigid of action. Yeah. I kind of mess. Yeah. That's the highest rank I've gotten. Tight. I fucking deserve that ass. I thought yeah, that did half the fucking mission without any missiles. Yeah. Dude. Oh, we fucking we fucked them up. We did it. We might we might end the war. Got him right in the butt. Time to punch him. It's great. Oh, wait. we're still not done with the war. You gotta go take down a fortress. A fortress? You just knew you had a jet that has way more more things to it. Okay, so next time we gotta take out a fortress. Like Pokemon. Oh. Yeah. All right, so guys. Next time I'm doing gaming, well, I'm gonna go pass out uh, from how sweaty I am <laughs> and from exhaustion. Uh, guess, guess, get it? I'm sweaty because how exhausted that mission was, and it was in the desert. That's why I was sweaty. All right. It's steaming. You guys, I'm gonna leave. Bye. <laughs> Oof. Close. Fuck! Are you serious? God I knew damn it. Damn it. The fucking ah. Uh, you got the helicopter. Fuck me. Wait, wait. Alright, I know where it is. Alright, guys, we'll be right back.